Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode we are out ice fishing once again, uh, for real this time. Uh, last episode we were out at Dalmead testing out some of our new equipment. Uh, you'll see that we are currently sitting inside of a tent. That's because we decided to ratchet it up a notch here um, and we got some new gear. So we'll show that in a minute and we'll also show our setups. Um, but Kieran's got a little information today on where we are. Mm -hmm. uh, today we are out at Crawling Valley. Uh, we're hoping to catch some pike and some walleye. Uh, as we said, a lot, a lot more comfortable with the gear. Uh, so let's get some rods set up and get into it. All right, guys, so we just finished setting up. Just got everything put in. There's our new Frable Bro Series uh, insulated tent. A two person tent and uh, pretty cozy in there. It's our cheap sleds. We didn't go for one of those expensive uh, sleds. We went for some cheap Canadian tire uh, $29 snow sleds, uh, but they're extra long and they actually worked really good today. So. We picked up a couple of those. Yeah, this escalated really quick in terms of the amount of gear that we got, but I'll tell you, it's windy out here, even though it's a nice day today. I think it's about uh, zero, maybe plus one degrees Celsius right now, but it's windy and so it's chilly out here. But you get inside this tent and uh, it is toasty. It is unbelievable. So let's just go do a quick check out here of how things are going inside. There's this guy. <laughs> Toasty. Mm -hmm. uh, here's our setup for today. We got our Garmin Striker 4 going in the ice here on flasher mode. There's our new Mr. Heater. It is toasty in here. Had to actually take the coats off. It's so warm. Yep. So that was a bit surprising. And uh, now we just got to wait for the fish. So we hope that happens soon. All right, hopefully more to come. Hey everybody, this is what it looks like in the tent with everything closed up. Um, I actually thought we would need more light. So we bought a little lantern that we clipped up to the top of the tent, but uh, I guess we underestimated the amount of light that would come through the ice, which is pretty cool. Um, of course, we got a little bit of light from the Mr. Heater over there as well, but most of the light in the tent right at the moment is coming from the ice itself and the holes, so pretty cool. Very neat. And uh, the water is pretty clear out here today at Crawling Valley. Uh, I would say we've got about four foot clarity. We can't see the bottom. We're sitting in about seven feet of water, but we can't see the bottom, so. Um, so it's not quite clear enough for that, but clear enough to see the bait down there. So we could sight fish a little bit if uh, the pike were coming by. Okay, guys, <laughs> I just took off for a second to uh, go scout a little bit. And uh, Kieran just picked up uh, his first fish ever ice fishing. Uh, that's a beauty. Um, it's been out for a little while, so He's gonna, oh, we got another one. Oh God. <laughs> we just caught another one, guys. Kieran, um, go put that one down the hole. Okay, okay. The other rod just went off here. Uh, this one. That one right there, yeah. All right, guys, he's got another one here. This is pretty cool, two fish within five minutes. Oh, oh. Oh, we got a tangle. Oh. I think all our rods might be tangled uh. here. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Let's we'll deal with the fish first. Oh my god, that's a tangle. Yeah. Get them out. Oh, that's a better one. Good job, man. Oh. Woo! Oh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Two fish in a matter of five minutes here for oh. Kieran. All right, guys, we're gonna untangle this thing and we'll get a better shot. Oh. All right, guys, we got the hook off. Kieran's freezing a little bit, his hands are cold. Uh, this is a, a little bit of a nicer one as you can see. Feels good to get a couple fish, all right buddy. Uh -huh. Let's get him back in that hole and let him go. There he goes. 
Awesome. Whew. All right, get your hands cleaned off and we'll go and do it some more. We didn't quite know how to, you know, organize the holes in here because it's just a, a three to four man tent, which to be honest is really, in my opinion, a two man tent. But uh, we decided to put in four holes in the tent. I know some people put some outside. In our case, we don't have tip ups. So we're, we're putting our rods in the tent so we can keep an eye on them. So we did a four hole setup. We got our small ice fishing rods right in front of us. Kieran's got one there on some of our new rod holders that we just picked up. I think those were $2.99 from Canadian Tire, just something to set our rods on. And then we've got our ultralights set up in the far holes. Um, and uh, seems to be working okay in terms of organization. Um, wouldn't want to, like I said, wouldn't want to have another person in here, but um, it's working right now. And then of course you can see we've got our Mr. Heater. We've got our, our chairs in here and it's it's been very comfortable. In fact, it's been so warm that we've had to turn the Mr. Heater off several times. Um, in terms of what we're using today for lures uh, or rigs, uh, same as we were last time at Dalmead, we've got uh, pike rigs on and we've got a bite right there. Yep. Karen's got a bite right now. While I'm filming this, there he goes, he's got one. Look at that, while I was filming oh. that. Oh, he got off oh. right there. So you can show him there, we're using a pike rig with smelts on it. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, actually quite effective. We've picked up a couple fish already and hopefully we'll get a few more. And uh, it's too bad we just lost that one. So um, there we go, that's our setup for today and more to come. I got one. Still there. We took a lot of line. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, I think he stuck me up on the ice here. Oh, I got him. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's a good size one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get him through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hard part. Uh, uh, I can't get his head through the hole. Pull it by the line, maybe. Here we go. Everything's about to get really wet. <laughs> nice. Nice one. My first fish ever ice fishing. <laughs> Woohoo! Awesome. Okay, guys, there it is. My first ever fish ice fishing. Nice pike out of Crawling Valley. Uh, we don't have the tape measure out right now, but uh, decent size. So let's do a release. This guy wants to get back in the water. There he goes. Awesome. Whew. That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I got another one. Okay. <laughs> Another good size one? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is under the ice. Oh yeah, not bad. Number two. Mm -hmm. This one about uh, maybe 10 minutes after the last one, so Seems like the bite's hot here right now in this spot. Oh, four for the day already, that feels good. Now let's get this guy in the hole here. Let's just put him down this one right by the drawer. You ready? Wanna get a zoom here? No, oh, you got it? Yeah. 
All right, everybody, uh, that's gonna close it out for today. The sun's going down. We've been out here for, I would say about uh, four and a half hours. So not a super long day, but uh, but pretty good nonetheless. Uh, it was a pretty good day fishing for the first time ice fishing ever really. Uh, I got two, so that was great. Yeah, and I got two and lost one. So it was pretty good for me as well. Uh, yeah, I also wanted to thank everybody. Uh, we recently hit our 500 subscriber mark. Uh, which was a really big goal of ours and we're really happy to be there uh, so that means that we're gonna have our giveaway and dad's got some information on that yeah so we mentioned in an earlier video this summer that if we hit 500 subscribers we were gonna give some things away and so we're gonna kick that off in our next video uh, it probably won't be a fishing video it'll just be me putting uh, out some of the stuff that we've got on in that prize package that's gonna grow a little bit actually over time. So we're probably gonna give that one away over uh, three or four episodes. And uh, for those of you that are also following us on Instagram, we're gonna be giving uh, a similar prize package away on Instagram. So there's two chances to win. So look forward to that. And so uh, that'll be what comes up next for Angling Spiders. And with that, uh, remember guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Till next time, good fishing.